Okay, the first example we have, rather simple. It's a graph on a number line. Uh, X is less than negative uh, three. Rather straightforward. And of course, I have a, my number line right here, and it's labeled negatives over here, positives over there. And simply, you go to the coordinate of negative three, which is about right here. Okay, and then it's for all values x less than negative three. So since it's less, we'll have an open circle and it'll be to the left of negative three and it'll look like that. And um, some people get a little confused um, whether it's less than or greater than. Uh, the less than points to the left. The greater than uh, will point to the right. Um, but even more importantly, what I like to do is I tell people, just look at it this way. This gap right here is bigger than this gap. Therefore, the bigger numbers are over on the side of the bigger gap. And consequently, if you flipped it over, the bigger numbers for this example would be on the left side over here, and the smaller numbers, smaller values would be on the right side of there. Okay, the second example we're going to do is the following. We have 3 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 8. Okay, and I use this example because it has um, a less than or equal as well as a less than, and we'll show the difference between the two. And once again, you take your two points and find them on your number line. Okay, we have 3, and again, positive 3. I actually emphasize that on my number line. Positive 3 would be right here, so this is 3. And then 8 would be here between 2 and 5 on your number line. Okay, and then again, we go back to what's the difference between these? Well, the less than, 3 is less than x, or x is greater than 3, means that x cannot be equal to 3. Therefore, we're going to leave an open circle, which indicates that 3 is not one of the solutions. It is not filled in. Okay, then all the values in between 3 and up to 8. And then in this case, it's less than or equal to 8, which means since it also can be equal to 8, we would fill in a circle. So again, the less than would not include the x, and then the less than or equal would include the x because of this equal part. And again, the difference is just, you can almost think of it as this is a less than with an equal sign under it, and then it blends together to have less than or equal to. Okay, and then the third example would be uh, a little bit more to it. Uh, 4x is greater than or equal to 12. And uh, what some people will do is they will solve it first, in which case 4x is equal to 12 is the same as x is equal to 3. So they would automatically say, okay, we're going to be dealing with x equals 3. Okay. And then uh, it's a greater than or equal to. So they would know it's going to be filled in circle because it's going to include the equals to x is 3 and then since it's greater than or equal to it's going to go to the higher values greater values and of course um, I like to always check if we were to test 5 4 times 5 is 20 20 is indeed greater than 12 and over here 0 4 times 0 is 0 it is not greater than 12 therefore this left side is not shaded in and so you have yourself the correct answer. Okay, the second pair of examples I'm using uh, are an or example and an and example. And uh, I just want to show the difference between the two. Um, let's start with the first one. Uh, we have x is less than or equal to 5 or x is greater than 12. And really what this means is it's the union of both of them. Basically it's saying I'll take any x that will either be less than or equal to 5 or it'll be greater than 12. So let's take a look at them separately. What x's could be less than or equal to 5? Well, as you know from previously, we go to 5 and it's here. And it's less than or equal to, so it includes 5. Okay, And all values less than 5. So it's going to go this way. Okay, So we're going to shade that. Okay. And then, of course, the other way is if it's not less than or equal to 5, well, maybe it's greater than 12. So we can go over to 12. Let's put 12 here. And, of course, it can't be equal to 12. It has to be greater than 12. So it's greater than 12. And it'll go this way. And that's our answer. 
And it, you know, if we try some points, let's say we took 8, it's not less than or equal to 5, nor is it greater than 12, therefore 8 is open. But any of these values will fit either one of these. That is for or. Okay, now let's take a look at and. Okay, we have x is greater than negative 1 and x is less than 7. And what this means is that the x value must fit both of them. So for example, let's start with the negative 1. Okay, we have negative 1 is right here. And x is greater than negative 1, so it has to uh, be above it. It can't include it. So we have an open circle. Okay, and it'll be all these values above here. Okay, but I'm not going to shade it in yet because uh, at some point uh, it, it may get cut off. And, and that point is going to be at 7. Okay, because x also has to be less than 7. So let's go over to 7. And we have an open circle. Okay, because it doesn't include 7. And now we want any value that is greater than negative 1 this way and less than 7 that way. And of course, that's going to be all the values here in the middle. Okay, uh, for example, if we take 0, 0 is indeed greater than negative 1 and 0 is less than 7. The values on this side do not fit both of these. Or it could be either one, it's union, and it must be both and it's the intersection of both of these values. Okay, the last three examples on this video. Uh, let's start with the first one. Okay, we have 4x plus 3 is less than 7. And there's a couple ways we can solve this. Um, I actually prefer to ignore the less than sign and solve it as if it's equal. So we have 4x plus 3 is equal to 7 and we use simple algebra subtract 3 from both sides and we have 4x equals 4 and so we have divide 4 from both sides and we have x equals 1 so 1 is what I would call our critical value so then what I do is um, I prefer it this way there are other ways is we'll start with our number line here okay and uh, let's label it 0 and let's go to 1. So 1 is right here. And we know that that is going to be one of the values. Okay. Now, since 4 plus 3 is 7, uh, notice that it's less than but is not equal to. So we're going to have to have uh, an open circle. Okay, Because our answer is not going to include 1. It's just going to be one of the critical points or the end point. Okay. And in this case, it's less than 7. Okay. So just a quick check, let's plug in 0 and see if it does work. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, 3 is less than 7. So 0 also works. And so every value to the left of 1 is going to be a solution. Okay. So I used, like I said, a three-step process. I set it equal, solve for x, plug in the point. Then the second part is I evaluate whether it's going to be an open circle or a closed circle. And then finally, I test each region to make sure I've got my answer correct. Okay, now let's go to the second example. Okay, it's negative 3x is greater than 6. And I use this example because it has a negative. Uh, as you saw what I just graphed, I like to solve these as if they're equal to each other and then test the regions. But a lot of people would prefer just to divide and solve it. So let's divide both sides by negative 3. And we get x is greater than negative 2. Okay, and what you're going to discover is is that when you graph, when you actually check these points, so we have 0 and we have negative 2, and I'm not going to shade it in yet, although I do know it's going to be an open circle. Let's try 0. Let's, let's assume this is the answer, which it isn't. Okay, let's try 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 greater than 6. It is not. So, so what happened? Well, what happens is, is when you divide by a negative, you need to flip the sign. Okay, and the reason that happens is because the negative values are, um, as their values get higher and higher, the actual value becomes lower and lower. So anytime you divide by a negative using inequalities, you need to flip the sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the sign, and we're going to make this x is actually less than negative 2. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually test the point there, negative 5. So negative 3 times negative 5 is 15, and 15 is greater than 6. As you can see, as these numbers get smaller and smaller, their absolute values are getting bigger and bigger, which is enabling it to be greater than 6. Okay. So 
The short end of this is if you are working with negatives and you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, you're going to most likely need to flip your sign. Me personally, I would recommend simply just solving it as if it's equal, get your point here, and then test each of the regions. And of course, we just did that. Zero failed, and negative five did work, so it's going to be shaded to the left. Okay? And then the final example we're going to do is negative six is less than or equal to two x is less than an eight. And once again, we'll go with the strategy I like, which is um, solve for each one separately as if these are equal signs and find our critical values. Alrighty? So if we have negative six is equal to two x, alrighty, x would equal negative three. So that's one of our critical values. And if two x is equal to eight, x is equal to four. So four is our other critical value. And let's, let's put this on the number line and then test our regions to see if our solution will be correct. So we have our number line. Here's our zero. And then we'll put four on the right, as it should go, and negative three with the negatives. Okay, let's, let's, first let's establish, this is negative six is less than or equal to two x. So it is going to be a closed circle because it's going to include negative three. And it's got to be also, it's going to include values that are also less than 8. So we're going to go over here. So it's going to be less than 4. And let's start testing some points and see what happens. Uh, let's try negative 5 over here. If we plug in negative 5, it'll be 2x is negative 10. That, that does not work. That's out of this range. So we're not going to use this region. Okay, let's try 0. Okay, 2 times 0 is 0. It's indeed greater than negative 6, and it's also less than 8, so it has to fit both. So that's going to include this middle piece, 0. And then 4 we left as an open circle because it is not equal to 8. And let's try 5. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 falls out of this range as well. So our final solution is going to be a graph that looks like this. So once again, Look at the equation, um, find your critical values, um, open circles or closed circles, and then finally test the regions.